Hello there and welcome to Upskill Videos. This is Charlie Aquino and welcome to my first ever After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you a very cool effect that you can implement in uh, some of your text or even logos. So let me show you what we are going to create. Perfect. As you can see, we have there a text uh, that has a write-on effect and there is a cascading effect happening. Uh, with this layer and it's a cool effect that you can implement on uh, some of your logos or even your text that you can implement on your videos so let's hop on to After Effects and see how we can create something like this so in After Effects let's create a new composition composition new composition set the width and height to 1920 by 1080 25 frames uh, per second uh, and 10 seconds and click OK First thing we have to do is we create a new solid. Select layer, new, solid. Let's make this solid a blue color. Blue color, that's it. Looks perfect. Then let's create a new solid, layer, new, solid. And this one, let's make this black. This black solid will serve as a vignette in our background. So with the black solid selected, go to the uh, toolbar and select on the ellipse tool if you don't see the ellipse tool you might be seeing just the rectangular tool so just click on this button here the rectangle tool and hold click and hold until this pop-up appears and then select the ellipse tool with the ellipse tool selected and the black solid selected double click on the ellipse tool to create a mask now on the mask properties click on invert so it inverts the mask and twirl down the mask properties, set the feather to something high, like around 350, and set the mask expansion to maybe something like 300. And that serves as a very subtle vignette on our background. Let's pre-compose these two solids, select both of them, select layer, pre-compose, and rename it to BG, and click OK. Now let's create our text. With the text tool, type in upscale videos. And let's center this text by clicking on the align menu here at the bottom. If you don't see it, go to window, click on align so that it gives you this uh, menu here. And then click on the horizontal center and the vertical center to have our text centered on screen. Now, what we need to do is we need to convert our text layer into a shape layer. We do this by selecting the text layer, heading onto layer, create shapes from text. You can also do it by right clicking the text layer and clicking uh, create shapes from text. So you can see it there. Now what this essentially does is that it converts your text layer to a shape layer. So you notice here in the timeline, your text layer is now hidden but you have a new shape layer called upscale videos outlines. What this shape layer does, is, or what this shape layer is, is it, it's a group of all of the different letters that you have in your text. So from letter U up to the letter S, it's all there and it's grouped together in one shape layer. Now, because we're going to animate the outline, let's turn off the fill for this group. So click on the fill properties and turn off the fill properties, click OK. And let's turn on the stroke by clicking this button here and turn on the stroke. Let's change the stroke color to white. And let's change the stroke width to something like three. Now what you can see here, let's zoom in a bit. So what you can see here now is we have our text showing only the outlines okay next so you look at the properties of your uh, shape group and click on add and let's add a trim path to it now if you're not familiar with the trim path what the trim path does is, is it, it essentially allows you to animate the path of your uh, shapes so it has four properties start end, offset and trim multiple shapes so if you play around with the end property, let's say, it, okay, we, we're not seeing it 
very well. So what I will do is I will go to view and uh, turn off the show layer controls so that it essentially allows us to look at our uh, animation clearly without it uh, blocking the view. And then I will also go and change the color of this layer to something solid. Now you may not, when, when, you, when you click this button here, this colored uh, box here, it will show you mostly a bunch of colors. This is a custom thing that I made already uh, so that easy, it's easy for me to, uh, uh, to identify what kind of layers I have. So select the first one, which is red. So that makes the um, outlines red. So let's, let's select this layer and twirl it down until, until we see all of its contents and the trim path. So if you play around with the end property, you will see that the stroke, okay, is writing on, okay? It turns on and off the stroke. And this is essentially the effect that we want to happen in our animation. So what we can do is head on to the start of our composition, click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe to our uh, end property, make it zero and go down two seconds and make it 100. Now let's play this to see what animation we have. So there you have it. So we now have the animation of our text. It's a very simple one, okay? So let's add an easy is to this. So select both keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and now Let's look at it in more detail. Now, the problem with this trim path is that uh, some of the letters will animate in the same way. So if you look at it, if we scrub through it, if you look at the letter L, we have two letter L's here. If you scrub it, you see that they are animating in the same way. Same thing with the letter I, it animates in the same way. Now, what I wanna do is I want the letter L, one of the letter L's to animate the animation of the one of the letter L's to start in a different position okay and also with the eye so how we can do that is by selecting one of the letters select your L and in this case we need to turn on again our layer controls so go view show layer controls so we're select one of the letter L's and when you when you look at this, let's zoom in a bit. When you look at the letter L, you will see these small dots here around the outline of the letter. And these are called vertices. The vertice with the uh, big circle or the vertex with the big circle is what we call the starting point. So if you scrub it, you will notice that the animation of the trim path starts from that point. So the key now to what we want to achieve is we need to change the starting point of the vertex. So let's to do that, let's select the letter L, one of the letter L, click on one of the verti vertices. So in this case, this top one, or maybe this one, right click on it, mask and shape path, set first vertex. Now you essentially have changed it. Okay, so if you look at the animation, if you scrub through the animation, you will notice that this L that we have just adjusted, its starting point now starts from that point we selected. So we, we can do the same thing for letter I. Select, select one of the I's. Okay, and then select one of the vertices where you want it to start. In this case, let's start here again. Right click, mask and shape path, set first vertex. Now, if you watch our animation, let's trim this to three seconds, hit N to uh, trim our work area and then let's play it. Okay, let's decrease it and let's play it again. So now you can see our animation working. Perfect. This is essentially the base of the animation that we're going to do. And the next step is to just add the cascading effect. And to do that, what we will do is duplicate this layer about two times. So press Control D twice, Control D, Control D. Okay. And the first layer here will be the final color that we want for our text. So in this case, I want it to be white, so we're not going to change it. So select the second layer, and this time let's change the color of this to something dark red. Uh, maybe that will do. And then select the third one to say something sort of a dark blue. 
cool now that's the effect that we want to see now of course we don't see it yet because they are one they're on top of each other so what we need to do is we need to cascade uh, the starting point of each of these layers. So the first layer that we have here, the, bo the bottom most one, starts at zero. And we need to offset the second layer here, layer number two, by five frames. So hold down, so select this layer, hold down the Alt and press page down five times. One, two, three, four, five. That cascades it five times. And then select the topmost layer and hit Alt, Shift, page down to move it 10 frames. So now you can see that we have uh, the, the bottom most layer starting and then the second one anim starts animating at uh, after five frames and the last one starts animating at 10 frames. So if we look at the animation now, here is what we have. Cool. It's hard to see the red one, so let's adjust the color of the red one. So let's make it a bit lighter so that you can see it. And let's see the animation again. Perfect. That is what we want to achieve. Now, of course, as a last thing that you may want to do is have the text appear again, at least uh, the fill. So let's turn on the original text that we have. Okay. So let's change the color of it to something more like a darker shade of this blue background that we have. So a sharp, darker shade. And then hit T to turn on to bring up the opacity and then sometime around when the animation is halfway already let's add a keyframe to the opacity and let's put it at zero and just right before the animation completes right over there let's change it back to 100 and add an ease to it by selecting both keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease now let's look at our animation. Cool, perfect. So it's a very simple animation. As you can see, we've created it in a very short span of time. What you may want to probably do is instead of having the opacity go to 100%, uh, you might want to have it go just to 50% so that it blends well with the background. So you can, you can play around with it and see what other things you can do with this effect. So again, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from this video and I hope to catch you on the next videos. And please do remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel where I teach uh, a lot of things basically about After Effects, motion graphics and freelancing, especially if you are a motion graphics artist who wants to be successful or wants to learn how to become a successful freelancer. So I, I suggest you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Upskill Videos, because I teach a lot of these things uh over there and uh, thanks again for watching and always remember keep learning bye